Hey everybody, I hope you guys are doing... Oh, I, I gotta stop myself. I say that every single time. Uh, I'm not gonna say it today. You know what? I'm not gonna say it today. That's fine. I'm not gonna say it. So, depending on if you guys watched the 3.5 video or not, you may know that this video is gonna be about having multiple users and what happens when those multiple users are working on the same file and they have a merge conflict. Now, typically... Git is really good about merging files together for the most part, but if you're editing the same line as someone else and you both push, it obviously will have a merge conflict because it doesn't know whose code to favor over another. And we're going to take a good look at that and see how you can get out of that because this can actually be one of the more nerve-wracking parts of Git, especially if you're new to it and you're on a big project. You don't know if you're going to destroy someone else's changes or destroy your own changes. It can be really frustrating, but it's actually not that bad once you learn how to do it. And if you followed all of my videos up to this point, you should have multiple users and your own Git repository, and so you can be able to practice this. And so what I've done, I'm on the left side right here, and remember, the right side is my buddy, Homer Simpson, who is going to be on this project with me. So I'm here on the left side in the black window. I created a file called favorite character, and when you open that up, I'm simply saying, if the favorite character equals blank, print out, you have chosen my favorite character too, otherwise you print that character's name you think is better. Now, this doesn't make any sense right now, because... I haven't put it in a character name. The idea is, is I'm going to grab this file and we're both going to fill in our favorite character's names and then we're both going to push and we're going to have a merge conflict and we're going to see how to deal with that merge conflict. So let me jump out of there. So I have already have this file obviously but Homer Simpson doesn't. So Homer Simpson needs to pull and let me actually show you something. I realized in my last video I made a mistake and I put my hello git repository for Homer Simpson in my SSH folder. Dope. So I need to move that. So just do a simple move command, hello git, and just move that to your home directory like that. Done. And I think the great lesson out of this, I'm kind of glad I made this mistake almost because if I change directory now into hello git and do a git status, it still works. Now what that means is you can move your repository all over the place on your local computer and you'll still connect to GitHub because those configuration files, the address to GitHub is still in there. So that's kind of nice. It's not file directory dependent. It can be moved. And so let's go ahead and do a git pull origin master. And you can see right here I have favorite character right there and let's do a git status I should be good oh I'm ahead by uh, two commits because I was working earlier on this so let's go ahead and do a push while I can and let's clear that okay so I am good here and I'm good on the other one so what I'm going to do now is let's go over to myself, Jason, first. We're going to do vim favorite character. And we're going to jump over here. And we are going to go ahead and insert. My favorite character is Peter Griffin. And I'm going to jump down to here and insert Peter Griffin. All right. So before I close this, if uh, hopefully this makes sense now. If the favorite character is Peter Griffin, then I say you've chosen my favorite character too. Otherwise, I say Peter Griffin is better. It makes sense. It does, well, <laughs> I'm sure this would not compile at all, but you understand the idea. So actually, I'm gonna leave this open for now, and I'm gonna come over here and do vim favorite character as well. And you can see it's the same file, but being Homer Simpson, I want to say Homer Simpson and we're going to jump down over here and we're going to insert Homer Simpson is better. 
So obviously we've both worked on the exact same file. We're both going to save this file and we're going to push. Now I think the black is easier to see on YouTube videos. That's my opinion. Hopefully I'm right on that. So we're going to let Homer Simpson push his changes first. So let's quit this out. I'm going to do a git status. And remember, if you want colors, git config color.ui true git status boom we have some colors there so I'm gonna go ahead and do git push origin master and it didn't work now why didn't it work keep in mind what did I forget to do why didn't it send that file nothing happened remember with the status I did not commit it I have to make a save state before I can send that off remember that back from I believe it was lesson one or lesson or video one or video two. I think it may have been video two. So we need to get commit everything Homer Simpson. And let's see here. Okay, so this configured my name automatically. I had not set up my name here. So that is actually pretty cool. I've actually never had that issue. So I must. Uh, that's, that's kind of funny, actually. You guys are witnessing this for the first time with me. So anyway, um, we're ahead by one commit, git push origin master. I'm going to actually look into that. I, I did not know it actually created it automatically for you. I've done git several times before, and I'm surprised. <laughs> you learn something new every day, right? We all learn together. So I have already pushed the file. I obviously didn't have any trouble because Jason over here on the left has not pushed anything yet. But once I save this and I do a git status, I'm going to do a git commit am Peter Griffin. And here we go. I'm going to push, but we both know this is not going to work because Homer Simpson's code is already there. It's the same file. So let me try to push anyway. Let's see what happens. And boom, the error. It is rejected. You see that right there? Rejected. And I'm kind of realizing I'm going to have to make this into two videos if I want to get through everything. So you have a message here. It says you should pull first. Now, this makes sense. Now, keep in mind, this error right here, you should always pull in the latest code before you push. Because when you pull, it's going to merge everything into your current code. So this is normal. If Homer had sent relatively the same code and we didn't have any merge conflicts, it would still prevent me from pushing because it needs to merge it first. The merge only happens on a pull to my local. It doesn't happen on the push. So because if I push it, I can't do anything to merge it together manually. And I'm going to show you how you manually do this. So okay, I have to do a git pull origin master. Well, hopefully this works. Oh, no, it did not work. Look at this. Auto merging favorite character, but it had a conflict. There's a merge conflict there. So there are multiple ways you can get around this. I have a preferred way. Some other people have different ways, however you feel safer. But I'm going to show you the git merge tool. So I literally type git merge tool. I press enter. And I have some, all these are technically merge tool candidates. These are applications I can use to merge. Now, I don't know why they say all of these because only about two of them are actually installed. It's just a general idea of here's what you could use. And normal merge conflict for favorite character, the local and the remote are different. Obviously that means my computer and GitHub's are different. And so I'm using OpenDiff. I just press enter right here to start the application. And you see it opens right there, file merge. I am definitely doing this in two videos. 